The Ukrainian officials are warning that the situation at the Russian-occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power station is approaching critical. Emergency workers have been staging drills and practicing cleaning operations in the event of radioactive contamination. Russia took control of the nuclear plant, which is the biggest in Europe, in early March. And there's recently been heavy shelling at and around the site, with both sides blaming each other for the attacks. Our correspondent James Waterhouse reports. Ukraine's vast, rich landscape, full of produce, industry, but still under threat. We're being taken to see preparations for a worst case scenario. If you want to get anywhere quickly these days, this is how you do it. We are traveling very low to stay out of range of Russian missiles and aircraft, and you get a real sense of just how vast this country is. In Zaporizhia, they're training for a crisis which some fear could be more serious than the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, the worst ever. The region's power plant further south has been under Russian control since early March, and officials say the situation is approaching critical it's changed dramatically and of course we are concerned that's why we are here that's why we created uh, this group that's why we are involved in everyday communication with this it's impossible to ensure the safety of the nuclear power plant while the russian occupying forces are there this is the key concern that we all need to clearly understand there are growing concerns that russia has been using it as a military base the city of Enyahodar, where the plant is, has seen recent heavy shelling. Both Ukraine and Russia blame each other. Elena has just escaped from there with her children and just wanted to get out. There has been many more explosions and it became much more dangerous to stay there. I didn't want to leave home, but when it became unbearable, I had no other choice. The NATO alliance is the latest voice to call for international inspectors to be let into the plant. With Ukraine unable to force the Russians out, it's instead preparing for the worst, if it happens. James Waterhouse, BBC News, in Zaporizhia. Let's talk to our correspondent Hugo Bachega in Kyiv. Hugo, how clear is the picture of what is going on at the nuclear plant with all those Russian forces around it? Yeah, Karen, for days we've been talking about tensions around this nuclear facility, Russia and Ukraine trading accusations of who's to blame for shelling the complex. The Ukrainians accuse uh, Russian forces of essentially turning this uh, nuclear facility into a military base, using it to launch attacks against Ukrainian targets, perhaps knowing that the Ukrainians are unlikely to retaliate. Now, the Russians reject those accusations. Uh, they say Russian forces are there protecting uh, the plant, but there have been some calls for international inspectors to be allowed into this nuclear facility. And yesterday, during his uh, evening address, President Zelensky said attempts are being made to send uh, UN inspectors to the Zaporizhia complex. Now, it's not clear how that could happen because the Russians so far uh, have not given any sign that they are willing uh, to negotiate to allow international inspectors into this complex. Now, uh, here today in Ukraine, Antonio Guterres, the UN chief, will be meeting President Zelensky. And I think uh, what is happening at the Zaporizhia complex will be at the top of the agenda when they meet later today. Yeah, indeed. I mean, the potential for something really serious to happen at Zaporizhia with uh, all this military activity around it must be right up there at the top of his concerns. So what else are we expecting from uh, Antonio Guterres' meeting with President Erdogan of Turkey and President Zelensky of Ukraine? Yeah, apart from uh, what is happening uh, at the Zaporizhia complex, they will be discussing the grain deal. Mr. Guterres was heavily involved in negotiating the details of this uh, deal that allowed uh, Ukraine to resume its grain 
exports. Ukraine is one of the world's largest exporters of grain and uh, the Russian blockade uh, created a global food crisis. So the United Nations and Turkey uh, helped negotiate the deal. We understand that during those talks later, uh, the leaders will be discussing the possibility of expanding this uh, grain deal. So I think this uh, will be an opportunity to celebrate uh, a rare diplomatic uh, breakthrough in this conflict.